Hi, I'm Lindsay, and today Alex Benson has come in to speak to the Year Sixes about what it takes to be a professional rugby player. Hi, I'm Lindsay, and today Alex Benson has come in to speak to the Year Sixes about what it takes to be a professional rugby player. <laughs> what set you on your way to become a rugby league player? Um. My dad took me down to watch a game when I was five, went to uh, see Hull FC play at the Boulevard and I really, really enjoyed it. I asked him to take me back, to take me back and he did and I got into it from there really and uh, he asked if I wanted to start playing and training. So as a five-year-old I went down to my local amateur team and started to play, really enjoyed it and stuck with it. Okay, what's been your best rugby league experience? Um, I've had quite a few to be fair, uh, being picked up by Hull FC and Playing my first team debut there was, was one of them, obviously being from Hull, being a massive Hull FC fan. Um, I played in the final a couple of weeks ago for my current team, which is Doncaster. That was a massive day. It's obviously nice to get to finals and, and playing them. But I would say the thing that stands out the most was uh, being picked to play for England. What are the main differences of playing for your club and playing for England? Um, I think when you're playing for your club, you, you know each other a lot better because you train together day in, day out, and uh, you've, you've known each other a long time. The intensity is still pretty high, obviously, because you're playing at a good standard. But when you play for your country, obviously, you might not click as well together as a team because you don't have as much time together to train. But the intensity seems to be a lot higher because you are representing your country and obviously so the team that you're playing against. So what do you think of the rivalry between Hull and Rovers? Um, I, I loved it as a kid when I was growing up. Uh, it's nice now, especially, that they're both playing in the same league and it's a top league, so the games between them are uh, competitive. When I was a little bit younger, they used to play now in a game, but there wasn't in the same league, so there wasn't the same intensity. I think it's great for the fans. Obviously, West Hull, East Hull, uh, Hull FC, OKR, it's, it's a massive, massive thing for them, and, and obviously people get the bragging rights for the week. You go to work on the Monday, and you might be stood next to a guy who's a Hull KR fan or a Hull FC fan, and they get the bragging rights for the next game, basically. If you were a rugby player, what would you be? Um, I'd probably be doing something similar to, to like do what I do now with Hull FC with the community development work or maybe teaching. I've got my, I did well in my GCSEs, went on to do my A-levels, uh, got an A-level in sports science uh, amongst other things and actually went to Hull University to study sport, sport and exercise science and uh, sort of enjoyed the coaching modules a lot more and knew that I wanted to get into that. Tell us a story about Nosley Road and a pair of Superman pants. Um, yeah, Nosley Road is uh, St Helens ground. I was playing uh, a game before a first team game when I was at Hull playing for the reserves and it was a really really hot day middle of summer and we'd finished and a lot of guys obviously take the shirts off because they're sweating a little bit and like I say it was very very hot so I was one of them people um, because it was before a first team game there was quite a few fans in the stadium about 12,000 people maybe and uh, the first team was getting changed and the kit man came out and said there was a pair of shorts missing and they needed some extra large shorts and wearing extra large shorts they asked me to give them mine uh, so I didn't really want to but I took them off looked down realized I had my lucky Superman pants on and uh, got a little bit of a laugh basically stood there in a pair of socks and Superman pants that didn't look good I don't think and um, what do you think of Sean Long's hairstyles um, not a fan, basically. Uh, he's one of them people that likes to show off a little bit. He's had some crazy hairdos over the time. He's had dreadlocks, I think. He's Mohicans, everything. Really, really long hair. He just, he just likes the attention, I think, a little bit. He's, he's, I think there's a bit of rivalry in, in the game between forwards and backs, and we sort of look at them and think, well, you little thing. But he's one of them people that likes to, to think he looks good. How old is Stanley Jean? Um... Very, I think. I don't think he knows how old he is himself. I think he's just brought a book out, an autobiography out. So if, if you read that, it might let a little bit away. But um, if you ask the guy, I've, I've, I've got quite a few friends that, that know Stan and I know Stan himself. And he comes from Papua New Guinea and they don't sort of keep any records. And if you ask the guy when he was born, his answer is summer, basically. Do you have any words of encouragement for the year sixes? Um, yeah, basically just, I mean, obviously I, I knew I wanted to be a rugby player, but whatever sort of job you want to go into, whatever you want to do with your life, just make them little sacrifices that you have to make and uh, try your hardest. Mm -hmm.